We hope that uh, this, uh, as this, this thing unfolds, uh, the truth will come out because it's very important for me and my company who are investors in News Corp since 20 years to, to, to get this in order. Prince Al-Walid bin Talal is a Saudi investor, philanthropist, and business magnate. He's also a member of the Saudi royal family. In 2008, Time Magazine listed him in its annual list of the 100 most influential individuals in the world, Time 100. He's the grandson of the first Saudi Arabian king, Ibn Saud, and the grandson of Riyadh al Sol, who was the first prime minister of Lebanon. Al-Walid is the founder, CEO, and 95% owner of the Kingdom Holding Company. This company has investments in companies in the financial services, mass media, tourism, and hospitality, petrochemicals, aviation, technology, entertainment, agriculture, retail, and real estate sectors. The Kingdom Holding Company had a market cap of more than $18 billion in 2013. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very, uh, believe in athletics. I believe in sports. Every, two, every day I do at least uh, two hours sports. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Al-Walid bin Talal bin Abdulaziz al Saud, but is also known as the Warren Buffett of Saudi Arabia. He was born March 7, 1955 in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, making him 65 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.68 meters tall. The star sign of Prince Al-Walid is Pisces. After the 9-11 attacks, this man gave a check for $10 million to New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, despite Saudi opposition. Along with his ex-wife, Al-Walid attended the royal wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton. He's also met Michael Jackson, Nicholas Sarkozy, Prince Charles, the Queen of England, Queen Rania of Jordan, and the former United Kingdom Prime Minister, Tony Blair. Let me also tell you that this man owns nearly $700 million in jewelry. According to Forbes, the prince goes to bed at 4 or 5 a.m. and wakes up at 9 a.m., then eats one big meal per day at 8 p.m., which the prince calls lunch. Al-Walid loves watching CNBC and has even appeared as a guest on this channel. This business person is a women's rights advocate, and half of the employees of his kingdom holding company are women. He has said in an interview that he always sides with the qualifications regardless of gender. In 2002, he received the first order of the Order of King Abdulaziz, and Al-Walid is also the member first class of the Order of Abdulaziz al Saud. The prince is a great philanthropist and has helped co-found the Jerusalem Development and Investment Company. And in 1997, he invested $10 million with the Palestinian Investment and Development Company. In 2004, this man contributed $17 million to victims of the Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami. Let me also tell you that he's considered a proponent of female emancipation in the Saudi world. Al-Walid financed the training of the first Saudi woman commercial airline pilot, Hanadi Zakaria Al-Hindi. This man has been married four times. In 1976, Al-Walid married his cousin, Dalal bint Saad, when he was 19 years old. The couple has two children together, including Prince Khaled and Princess Reem. However, in December 1994, they got divorced. Then, Al-Walid married Princess Iman Sudari in 1996. However, this marriage lasted only a year, and the pair got divorced in 1999. Al-Walid married Khalud al-Anazi, and they got divorced in 2004. Later, he married Amira al-Tawil, and they divorced in 2014 after being married for six years. Areas in, uh, in, in Croatia. And you know, really, I'm, I'm really very much, you know, uh, enjoying my time here with, with the very friendly Croatian people. He was born to Prince Talal bin Abdul Aziz and a daughter of Riyadh al Sol, Mona al Sol. During the early 1960s, Prince Talal was the finance minister of Saudi Arabia. The grandmother of this business person was Muna Hayir, an Armenian, and her family had escaped the Armenian genocide. His parents divorced when Al Walid was only seven years old, and he lived with his mother in Lebanon. He attended Pinewood College in Beirut and later attended military school in Riyadh the King Abdul Aziz Military Academy. Then in 1974, he returned to Lebanon and attended the Shoafate School, 
Later, Al-Walid attended Manor School, and in 1979, he received a bachelor's degree in business administration from Menlo College in California. In 1985, he received a master's degree with honors in social science from Syracuse University. In 1979, he started his business career and returned to Saudi Arabia. At that time, the country was in the midst of the 1974 to 1985 oil boom. Prince Talal provided him $30,000 in startup money. In 1980, he formed Kingdom Establishment. Then Al-Walid secured a $300,000 loan from the Saudi American Bank. In 1982, his first success came when he partnered with a South Korean construction company. Then he acquired the United Saudi Commercial Bank and merged it with other enterprises such as Samba and Saudi Cairo Bank. The United Saudi Commercial Bank became one of the best financial organizations in the entire Middle East. In 1991, Al-Walid purchased shares of Citicorp. Now he owns stakes worth $1 billion in Citigroup. During his career as a successful businessman, He's invested in firms such as AOL, Eastman Kodak, TWA, Apple Incorporated, and the Four Seasons Group of Hotels. He's even invested in the reputed Plaza Hotel in New York City. In 2005, he purchased the Savoy Hotel in London for $250 million. During the same year, Al-Walid sold the stakes he owned in Apple. In 2009, it was reported that this prince owned 35% of SRMG, a Middle East media company. Back in 2011, it was announced that Al-Walid would collaborate with Bin Laden Group, a Saudi Arabia construction firm, to construct the Tower of One Mile, also called the Kingdom Tower. It's the world's tallest building at 5,279 feet. During the same year, this man also invested $300 million in Twitter. Al-Walid Bin Talal has also invested in Coca-Cola, Ford Motor Company, Worldcom, and Priceline.com. We always have an eye on investment because, as you know, we are invested in 13 areas uh, in, in, in telecom, in communication, in, uh, internet. He has mainly accumulated his net worth by investing in various companies. Al Walid also owns 80.5% of TV broadcaster Rotana and 30 million shares of Twitter. In 2015, Forbes ranked him the 34th wealthiest person in the world. Al Walid is invested in Saudi Arabian real estate and owns shares in Arab media companies and Chinese e-commerce giant JD.com. He also holds a stake in New York's iconic Plaza Hotel. The total net worth of Prince Al Walid bin Talal Al Saud is $20 billion. Being one of the richest persons on earth, Al Walid owns several lavish palaces across the globe. He has a 420 room palace in the top three floors of Kingdom Tower. According to some reports, his properties are worth over $4.5 billion. Currently, he lives in his 420 room palace in Riyadh. The palace is made with high quality marble and hung with portraits and photographs of Al Walid. It also has two indoor swimming pools and an outdoor tennis court. The business person also has a vast farm on the outskirts of Riyadh. The Kingdom Palace, owned by Al Walid, covers 250,000 square feet. Moreover, the Kingdom Oasis is still under construction and it covers 4 million square feet. This palace will have a private zoo and a 70,000 square meter lake. Al Walid bin Talal owns the following cars a diamond encrusted Mercedes SL 600. a Rolls-Royce diamond car, a modified GMC Savannah van, a Mercedes-Benz V-Class Micro Polo, a Range Rover Vogue, he also owns a private jet worth $367 million and a massive yacht worth $200 million. 
Al-Walid owns several aircraft, including a Boeing 747, a Hawker Siddeley 125, and an Airbus 321. 